Hello, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video on the DCS mod template video I made a little while back. Uh, somebody's asked me how to make uh, collisions, uh, collision zones on the um, the models. It's very straightforward. What I'll do is I've opened back up the DCS static mod template. Um, let's just show you all that. That's what was there before, a glass piece and a solid piece. And then you have uh, these extra um, additional properties in Blender if you download the EDM um, mods that I'll, uh, I'll include a link in the uh, video description. And uh, we've got a glass node there. What I'm going to do is this more complicated slightly more complicated base I'm going to just quickly delete that this object here is just basically a squashed cube that's already parented to this armature uh, you must have the armature um, for your for your models to be uh, uh, rendered in uh, EDM format in using this blender tool so I'm just going to edit this cube into a ramp, I think, and then, and then we'll try and do a jump in DCS. We'll see how many Christian Eagles we can jump in a Land Rover. So I've uh, gone into edit mode. I'll go into actually I'll go into modeling, into edit mode. I'm going to scale the cube on the x-axis. I'm going to scale it on the z-axis and then go into edge select and drag this edge on the y-axis so we've got a nice little ramp there um, to show the effect of how collisions um, collision models work I'll add in the collision model and then I'll add in a wall so let's just rename this to ramp. I'm going to take the texture that I already had for the glass and I'm going to use the black texture. I don't need the glass anymore for this. And I'm going to make a copy of this ramp because if you make a collision mesh, um, the collision mesh needs is, is where it gets hit where the um, detection takes place so that's that's your shape you could have the ramp facing the other way around if the collision mesh doesn't match then the collision will only occur where the collision mesh exists so I've press shift and D to copy this and I'm going to right click to let it snap back to its original place you can see the new ramp created there just for ease I'm going to rename that to a call not cool call. I'm going to add a new texture let's get rid of the default one and create a new texture could be any color let's go some sort of purple color really doesn't matter then in the EDM properties I'm going to change this to be a shell node and once again I need to make sure this is parented to the armature and we can't see the amateur at the moment because it's uh, at the world origin. So let's go to wireframe mode by holding down Z and choosing wireframe. Let's hide the ramp so I'm not using the wrong thing. Let's select the collision mesh first and the amateur. Control P and then set parent bone relative. And that is it that's how you create a collision mesh now to show you how to co that the collision mesh is independent from the the visible mesh what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add in a couple of edge loops I oh, need to go into edit mode first add in a couple of edge loops here just two will be fine let's hide that so we don't get any weird shading on the other I'm gonna go to face mode I'm gonna scale these in just on actually know what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude them like this so I should be able to pass through this so let's 
save that and then export as an EDM. Now if you keep the file structure that I originally had in place then you, you shouldn't have to make any changes to any of the files as long as you export it to the, the shapes folder. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, DCS. Uh, I'll stop recording until it's loaded up and uh, show you what happens. Okay, back in DCS, in the Syria map, and I've got the light on so that allows me to drive the vehicles. And you can see the ramp is there, and sh because I haven't added the collision mesh to the initial wall, I should be able to drive straight through it, but the model should hopefully drive up the collision mesh ramp. Yeah. And there we go. Boom. So there you see the uh, the collision mesh does work. And actually, actually we got quite far there. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Christian eagles. So uh, that's official. You can jump nine Christian eagles in a Land Rover in DCS. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, thanks for watching.